If you are a CAT student that is doing CAT at school and you need to do a PAT, here are some tips and ideas that can help you with your PAT. And we're looking at particularly the phase three when you're working on your website and now you want to take those charts that you did in phase two and how can I use them in my website? Well, we will show you how. So let's pretend that this is a chart from my pet. Um, it's a random chart that I made. It's like a sky and the different sides of it. Wait a minute. If I click on this chart and I go format the data series, let's make that angle just a little bit up. Here we go. Now it looks like a picture. There we go. It looks like a pyramid and there's a sky. Fantastic. Now I want this image to be, I want to have this as an image in my pet. Now the first step is once you've got your charts done, I'm going to right click on the chart and you see there's an option there to save it as a picture. And so the key here is you must save it. When I click on there, it's going to ask me where do I want to save it? You must save it in the folder where all your HTML files are for your pet phase three. So I've gone to my folder. Now you'll see here it's saving it as a PNG. Take note of that because you need to know what to refer to the chart as. And you must give it a name. I'm going to call it chart one. You can give it a better name than that. So there's chart one PNG. So I'm going to save it in that particular folder where all my website stuff is. Okay. So there's my files for my, my files for my HTML files. And there's the little chart that I've got. It's in the same place. I know that it's working. Okay. So let's go to the actual web page. Now over here I've got the web page for my findings. We, we did a video on how to do some navigation structure and it looks something like this. So there we go, our findings. And here is where we want to put our research. I exchange it there. I find it for research. I want to put my chart over here. So for that, just to take note, we're going to use a image tag. So underneath here we're going to say image img tag which closes immediately and we need to give it a source. The source is the name of the file, which we said was chart one, but not just chart one, chart one dot PNG. And we can then put a alternate. You must put an alternate text in. So this is the chart of the pyramid, pyramid. I think that's how you spell pyramid, chart of pyramid. Um, and then you must can put the width and the height of your particular chart. Maybe you want this image. I want this always to be 50% of the web page. So something like that. Okay, so there we go. We're going to have our chart and it's always good to have some sort of caption underneath. So uh, chart one uh, pyramid example. And we can put some nice little text around there. So I'm going to put a font tag with, I'm going to make the text very small. So let's say size three. Size three or two would work, I think. Maybe size two. And I'm going to make it italics. So that it's very nice. So a little caption. You can actually use the caption. There is a caption tag that you could use. So close italics, close font. So by just doing something like that, so we've included the image. Make sure that you use the correct name of the file, whatever it's called, whatever you call it. And remember the type of file at the end. Must have an alt tag, adjust the size, put a nice little caption underneath it. And so if I go to my web page, let's go have a look. There we go. So now we've got a nice little chart. Okay, so I'm going to put this on a brand new page. So how do I do that? Let's go back over here to our text. We're going to, you can, you can either use a break if you want to make sure that it's always on a new page or you can align it and so on. So by just doing that, let's save. There we go. It's a little bit better. You probably might want to center it. Maybe put that center as well. I'm going to leave that up to you with your design. And you can obviously adjust the size. Maybe you want that, that chart to be a bit smaller. Maybe you want it to be 40% or maybe 35% would be a, not a bad size. So you can play around with that. So there we go. That's how you take your images from Excel. So there's my chart. How do I put that chart into my web page? Well, remember, right click save as picture. Save it in the correct folder for your chart or for your web page, and then go use um, your image tag to insert that picture into your pet. And you can do that for your other charts too now. Need more cat pet tips? Go to our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button, go to our playlist and find the cat pet tips playlist to help you with other aspects of your pet. Share this with your friends. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.